Assalamu alaikum and welcome back to Coding with T. Today we are going to learn how to create a wishlist page or you can say the favorites page. Okay, so first of all, let's quickly have a look what we are going to create. So our application is running and you can see we are inside our home screen and down below we have list of products. First product you can see it's already added in the cart or in the wishlist. So not in the cart but in the wishlist or you can say the favorites. So let me go to wishlist and down below you can see we have only one product over here. Add back to home and in here let's add let's say these two products into wishlist also this laptop let's go to wishlist and you can see we have all the four products added we can remove this and also when we go back you can see these two are now removed down below from the list here we can also add them and that product is down here you can see the design we first have the app bar then we have a grid style of all the products being displayed so today's tutorial is about to focus on creating design so let's get started we are creating flutter e-commerce application and we have already covered section one and section two section one is related to all the assets project setup teams and libraries and section two was related to the login design login sign up onboarding splash screen so if you are new you can watch the previous videos or get the playlist link link is in the description or from the right top corner okay for our today's tutorial in the section three let's get started with the wishlist design <music> studio and we are inside the project we created for our previous tutorial and down below you can see in the last tutorial we learn how to create tab bars custom tab bar also created the five type of tabs with all the tab views then in each custom category tab we learn how to design the brand showcase and after that we display products related to specific category and also these brands are related to specific category so for today's tutorial let's head to the features of this lib folder then go to the shop and in the screens we have a wishlist folder or you can say a directory inside this i have created an empty wishlist.dart class which is a stateless widget to create a stateless widget just write stl and it will be created okay there's one more thing that i want to show you when we are going to click on any of the class in the dot file you can see we have one highlighted problem which is the typo in the tab bar apart from this typo you can see we have a green tick in this class but when you go to this brand showcase it has one warning which uh, we have to do that manually in all the classes let's say in the wish list i've added some dummy imports over here and you can see we have nine warnings instead of doing all these things manually for the whole application you can simply go to the terminal run flutter fix two hyphens dry hyphen run this is going to tell you that how many fixes you have in your flutter application and in here you can see it displays all the files with all the fixes 16 proposed fixes in six files so we have two type of additional things unnecessary import and unused import so you can do one by one or you can also simply run dart fix two hyphens apply and it is going to fix all of the required changes hit enter and you can see 16 fixes made and at the top it also cleans this class as well and also this brand showcase now don't have anything this is now in the green okay, so let's start with today's tutorial inside the favorite class inside the scaffold first thing we need to create is an app bar we can create app bar in the scaffold we're going to use the custom app bar if you don't know how to create a custom app bar you can watch the app bar video link is in the description so this is the class we already created why we need custom app bar the reason is already explained in that video so head back over here first thing we need to create title use the text property write the text as a style of this text i'm going to use theme dot of context we have already defined all the text themes in section one you can watch that as well we are going to use the headline medium for our heading and to remove this error let's remove the constant error is gone next to the title we also want to add a plus icon which will redirect to any screen you like let's say we are going to use t circular icon it requires icon so we are going to use icons x property dot add let's import this library package and in on its own press then it's not going anywhere or we can simply call using the get library get x library we can simply go to another page and let's go to home screen at a constant that's it let me run the application okay so our application is running let's go to 
the sign in and click on the sign in button and in here you can see we have currently dark mode but uh, previously a few people are asking that these icons are not visible so i make the same change or try to regenerate it so let's go to home.dart go to home categories and inside in the vertical image text widget is a custom widget by default we added background color so we don't need this one you just have to remove it and save it now whenever we are going to switch these it will be okay okay so now let's go to wish list we also have to add the wish list in our navigation menu no dart which is the first video of this section down below you can see we have a navigation controller and as a third container which represents our wish list let's use favorite screen over here because i named the wish list screen as a favorite screen you can change this as well doesn't matter now let's do the hot restart let's go to login click on it go to wish list and you can see we can appear our app bar at the top with a wish list and one icon that we created after this app bar inside body we have to create our wish list design so body can be scrollable because uh, there might be wish list items that exceed the length of our screen so to make it scrollable use the single child scroll view inside as a child we first have to create the padding around the screen padding should be similar throughout the design so use edge insets dot all and this is in the t sizes which we created in section one t sizes custom class and the value we're going to use is default space which is 24 after this padding we are going to add column because we want to place elements in a vertical direction so because we want to add products in a grid view grid view we already created i will drop the link in the description of the tutorial and you can watch this tutorial in detail to create grid view which will be the reusable grid view that we are going to use over here as well and also the product design in that same tutorial that's very useful tutorial so i'll drop the link in the description so to use that custom grid view we are going to call the t grid layout and it requires two things item count and item builder let's say we require four items in the favorite definitely this will be dynamic when we're going to create the backend logic we simply have to create a single function or you can say a wish list controller which will have three functions a toggle function which will add or remove items from maybe you are going to store the favorites in local storage shared preferences so that toggle is going to add or remove that specific product using the product id into the local storage or remove that from the local storage we can also store that in the database and also when items are added or removed we will show a toast message so only one function is going to do everything for us so that's why when you go to the home dot dart down below in the t products card vertical this is what we are going to again use in today's tutorial but over here i want to show you the favorites icon when we will do the backend we will create this widget as a separate widget and in that widget we will simply call that single controller and this icon button will be handled from only one widget and used throughout our application and we don't have to deal with anything else for today's tutorial in the item builder we first have to pass the context which we don't need and then we need to use the index and after that we will use t product card vertical so this is the design we have already created let's remove this constant and a constant over here control alt l to align let's save the code and you can see we have four elements that we assume are added in the wish list will be displayed like this if you want to add more items and you want to use the single child scroll view effect you can make it six and this time you can see we can easily scroll all the items are visible we have app bar at the top so, so let me also walk you through the product card vertical design this is the gesture detector when the product is going to be clicked this event will be triggered after that we have a container a large container or the container of a complete product then the whole design is divided into two parts the first one is the thumbnail and the second one is the details so this is also the part of this second one but because of this spacer we used as a separate row price and button are at the bottom of the design just because of the spacer so first of all as a thumbnail we require a rounded container which contains the image and some background color padding and height of the container then we will use the stack because first we use the image as a background of that stack and then we position two elements sale tag and also the favorite icon button so sale tag you can see on the left side then favorite icon on the right side using the position arguments 
After that, in the detail, we have two things, product title and product brand with the verified icon. We always try to make our widgets reusable. So that's why you can see a lot of widgets or a lot of the custom widgets at the top. Of this column you can see we use a sized box to make the text full width if you are going to have a smaller text and you you are not going to use the size box your text might be in the center and at the end for the price row we have a price property which a custom product price text and then add to cart button which is designed with a top radius and bottom right radius add a nice curve and then inside we have used a simple icon so that's it for today's tutorial i hope you learned something new if you learn something new please like the video and if you're new to the channel don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button to get notified about all the upcoming videos once again thank you for watching take care allah is